again, I would like to say thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to my channel, who liked my videos, who commented underneath my videos, um, or even took the time out to click a video. my channel if you're new here my name is Maggie I like to spend my money so you don't have to in today's video I'm going to give you a q and a I finally reached a hundred subscribers your time is your most valuable currency and you spend it with me so I decided to let you guys know who I am who you guys been watching so let's just go ahead and get to the questions first question is who am I um, my name is Maggie. I am 26 years old. I live in Silver Spring, Maryland. Um, I was born in the U.S., but both of my parents are Haitian, so where does those at? I, I don't know. What else can I say? I don't want to put out too much information because the simple fact, you know, the internet is a you know, weird place. So, what is my current occupation? I work full time as a childcare teacher. Also, I have a part time job, but I've been working with children for about eight years. I really enjoy um, being a childcare teacher, especially spending time with them, just interacting with them as well. I also take pride in being there, pretty much a fundamental stepping stone to their educational success. I really like the hobby of being a YouTuber. This is my current relationship status. As of right now, I am single, and I'm going to remain single until somebody's son want my eggs cracked, meaning I want a child. I want my name dropped, meaning I want to be married. I'm not around with you. I am not. No, I'm just joking with you guys. Um, but yeah, I am single, and I kind of want to do a dating series, a plus-size dating series. So if you guys are interested in that... Please comment down below, hashtag dating series. I just want to like, I don't know, just show you like what the crap I've been going through, y'all. I've been struggling. But <laughs> I think it would be very much entertaining and, and also, you know, informative to other women out here. So if you want to see that part, don't forget to comment dating series. When did I start YouTube? So I started YouTube April of 2022, uh, which is four months ago. And I am really excited to say that after four months of hard work and dedication, I have finally reached a milestone of 100 subscribers. I am so grateful to reach 100 subscribers. So I want you to pause this video, go ahead and get some type of wine if you're 21 and older, you know, get Kool-Aid salsa water ginger ale i don't care put it in a cup and i want to raise a toast to you guys and cheers to 100 subbies one of the many milestones that i will reach and i couldn't do it without you guys so Ooh. i got kombucha y'all i don't have any wine <laughs> I want to take the time out to acknowledge three people who had supported my channel from the very beginning and it's only right I you know give credit to them as well the first person I'm gonna give credit to is Anya or Anaya I believe you pronounce it and um, I want to say thank you so much on camera you have been a amazing supporter to me like she has been there from like the very beginning I think she was like the first 15 subbies and she has you know like subscribe to my account like all my videos comment underneath my videos and i just want to just say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart you guys don't understand like for me to get support from someone i never met like somewhere i don't even know where this lady live i don't even know anything and just receive the amount of support that i got from her is very much amazing and um i want to say thank you so much the second person I would like to say thank you to is my good friend Kai. Uh, she is going through the same YouTube journey with me, so that is just really amazing. And of course, she's a close friend, so I'm going to leave her page right here. Also, um, a link to her YouTube channel down in the description bar down below. She creates um, family videos, so if you're into like 
you know, family type videos and vlogs and things like that, they'll be all there for you in the description bar down below. Don't forget to tell her I sent you. Um, and she's just had a, you know, her little one. So I want to say congratulations to her as well. So you guys will get, you know, a whole bunch of videos about the little baby because I already got pictures already. The girl, anyway. The last person I want to say thank you so much to is my good friend, Nita. Y'all, I tortured this girl, okay? <laughs> like, ever since I started my YouTube journey, like, anything that happened, I'm like, oh my goodness, Nita, I got five subscribers. Nita, I got 200 views. Nita, this video got 1,000 views. Nita, I made 100 subscribers. Like, anything that happens with my channel, she knows about it, and she has been very supportive, and I know I've been driving her crazy. So, I do want to say thank you to her. I will leave her TikTok account here and also down in the description bar down below if you're interested in tiktok and things like that she does content on there as well why i started youtube i actually wanted to start a youtube a long time ago and i did start but i really didn't start so around 2017 the whole makeup scene of you know makeup tutorials and things like that was you know very popular on YouTube and I wanted to do that and, and it worked out and then the mukbang series came out and I literally made one video didn't even finish it like but I always been interested in YouTube and being a content creator but really what really pushed me is Aaliyah's face she had like some type of sit down um, chit chat and she was just talking about her story and it very much inspired me and i just thought like why not me i always wanted to do youtube but i did not take it seriously until that video um it very much inspired me to use social media as a financial outlet so let's be clear i'm here for the sh money honey but i can really say that now that i'm actually a you know content creator and i'm taking it seriously I really do enjoy it. Like, I really do um, take pride into my videos and things like that. Alongside of Leah encouraging me to start my YouTube journey, but it really was Miss Jamima who got me into the niche that I am. Um, when I realized the lack of representation of plus size women in the fashion industry, I just wanted to do like a service and just bring out informational content of like, don't even waste your money. You know what I mean? Um, on purchasing these clothing items, which is like trending because they don't fit us. It does not accommodate our bodies. And I just wanted to put that information out there of who, you know, really is inclusive and who's really not. And I feel like hopefully I will do, you know, the women or men who purchase these items justice, okay? So, yeah, in addition to, you know, force the money, I do want to say that I do like creating the informational content of plus size hauls. My favorite YouTubers. I don't know why I got, like, I lit up. Y'all see how I lit up just saying that? I don't know. But I just want to start off, who are my favorite YouTubers? We're gonna start off with Sophieology. Sophieology, she is the first person that really got me into the beauty community, uh, especially when I was watching her makeup tutorials and her hair reviews. Uh, who's next? B loves life. I love mukbangs. I really enjoy her seafood mukbang. I am a seafood person. Okay, you, you put seafood around me. Get that. Okay. The next person I want to say is, of course, Aaliyah's face. She really got me into, like, vlog and, like, just more into the classy fashion and things like that. Miss Jamima, of course, she's a DMV native, also a Haitian per. So, and then, like I said, she really got me into the niche of plus-size clothing and hauls, so I really enjoyed that. Another person that will be E.C. Maymay. She is the person who's... I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if I have my hair naturally shown yet. Probably did. Yes. But my hair is natural, okay? I have natural curls. And when I tell you EC May May saved me, she saved me in the beginning. 
of my natural journey. <laughs> I'm so serious, guys. Like, I didn't know what to do with my hair. Um, so she's definitely been the goat for that. I also will say naturally sunny. I really love her. She's just so funny. Um, she is also a DMV native. And who else? Diara, of course. And I have some other people too, but those are really like my faves. How did I come up with my intro? Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie. I like to spell money so you don't have to. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue, okay? Uh, that intro was kind of perfected over time, but the whole, I like to spell money so you don't have to, I have no idea, guys. I just thought it was funny. And I just wanted to catch my viewers' attention of like, look, this is a clothing, like this is a review channel. You know what I mean? Pretty much is what it is. I, it's a review channel. So that way, I, like, I waste my money on stuff so you don't have to purchase, like, don't even purchase this stuff. Like, I like to tell people, um, you know, pretty much, I bought this product and it was trash. Or I bought this product and it was great. And I think you should, you know, purchase it. So that's pretty much the overall, like, just of I, what I wanted to get to the viewer. What would be my biggest struggle through my YouTube journey? I feel like my biggest struggle would be one, being social. I am very much an anti-social person and I really don't do the social media. Like I do not like to post where I'm at. I don't do the whole aesthetically pleasing things. And now that I'm in the world of pretty much trying to be an influencer, that's what's going on right now and I have to adjust not saying that i'm going to change who i am to fit the aesthetic it's just more of like i have to put out the content the reason why i like doing youtube is just a simple fact of i'm in the comfort of my own home i am just displaying what i want to you know to myself you know what i'm saying like i could just do what i want it doesn't have to be perfect but on you like on instagram it's so terrible how people are very much critical of themselves to the point where they need to edit their photos. They need to like remove scars and or make their waist look so snatched. If I have to do all that just to post a singular photo, I'm not doing it. I'm not. It's just like so much pressure. And it's like for what? Like it's so crazy. Like I don't understand. You know, the lace has to be melted and your waist need to be snatched and it has to be this and it has to be that. Your background has to be, you know, aesthetically pleasing. And I'm like, OMG, we gotta do all that just to post a damn photo? Like, are we really in the moment or we're just like, you know, I don't know. Anyway, but I guess it's a form of art. So I'm not being judgmental. I just feel like that does not suit me. But I do wanna say, that um, I really want to become more active on Twitter. And I never really got onto the Twitter band, um, bandwagon. So I did create Twitter. And the only reason why I created Twitter was for YouTube. And that way you guys can um, pretty much interact with me, ask me questions, give me advice, you know, constructive criticism. And I really want you guys to stop the channel, add me on Twitter because your girl is now about to be tweeting, I guess. <laughs> what are some of my goals for my channel? Pretty much my first goal is to be monetized, okay? Like, don't get me wrong, I like to spend money, but I need to pay my bills. <laughs> so definitely one, monetize my channel. Two, become very much more interactive with my subbies whether that is via Twitter or Instagram. Another thing I wanna say, another goal is continue to be authentically myself and don't get lost into the trends or the aesthetic of social media. I don't think, hmm, what's another one? Another goal. Oh, this is my biggest goal. Like, okay, so I really, I really want to one, of course, 
blow up and get like sponsorships and things like that on YouTube. But I feel like my biggest thing is definitely giving back to my subbies. Like, I really want to have the opportunity in the platform to shout out the smaller YouTubers, the small businesses. Like, I do want to do, like, meet and greets. I want to have the ability to do, like, giveaways and just give back to the people who supported me for free and just give me nothing but their time. Like, that's very big. I'm very big on remembering those people who were there for you, you know, through your good times and your tough times, but especially during, you know what I mean, the rough times. Um, I'm very big on that, and I'm, I'm very grateful to the people who support me no matter what. So I definitely want to have the opportunity to do that for you guys. Final question is, what do I like to do on my free time? sleep <laughs> uh, like I said I work full-time part-time and then of course I have to add in YouTube um, into my schedule as well so pretty much sleep eat good food it's sleep you know once again I would like to say thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to my channel who liked my videos who commented underneath my videos um, or even took the time out to click a video that is very much greatly appreciated I could not do this without any of you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glass one last time and we're going to cheers to one of many milestones and um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it means the world to me. Until next time, cheers.